morning. It's um, April 30th, uh, Thursday, 2020, and it's uh, oh, about 9 o'clock in the morning. It has been raining off and on for the last week, but it hasn't slowed down the big hive back there very much. Um, there has been some changes to my little bee yard here. Um, you can hear the clicking away in the background here. This is a uh, solar powered battery operated fence unit that I made for a bear fence so when we take the uh, bees up to the bush this summer I will have a, a, a electric fence to put around the, the bees and so I've just been fiddling with this thing. This is just a cheap Canadian Tire solar panel and it's a five mile solid state electric fence controller and this is a really cheap charge controller I got off Amazon and I built this. I 3D printed the shield to go around it and then I added these switches in so I can turn things off and on. And of course in here we've got our car battery. So, and so far it's working good, but I've been 3D printing these uh, insulators and they're actually working pretty good even if they're wet. So that setup seems to be fine. So in the back here, this is the uh, the nuke that I had uh, my first split in, and I took them out of there yesterday because the bottom of that box was a mess, and they were starting to get mold build up from dead bees. And I just put them in another nuke, so it's back here. So I've just put them in this extra nuke that I had sitting in the shed. And I can tell you, I'm not going to take them apart today, because I had them open yesterday, but the queen has mated. She's three times her original size. She is laying, and they are building brood. Now, where the one issue right now is there's not a lot of bees in there, so uh, today I'm going to shake some bees into this top box from hive two, which is the going concern over here. And I'll shake them in here, and because they'll be separated from the other bees, I'll leave them in here for a day, and then I'll move that feeder dish aside, and they'll go down in, and they should be integrated nicely with the rest of the bees. So that's my... Uh, my one goal today, I did another split, and they're here, and I'm kind of mad at myself because in my eagerness to put out another YouTube video, I opened them up last week, and uh, went to separate the frames, and I ripped open a great big queen cell. So I've just, there was a couple other queen cells in the works as well, so I've just closed them up and I'm just going to leave them alone. Um, now I've got another nuke over here, and this is a split off of one of Norman's hives that uh, I did a couple of days ago. And uh, I brought it up here so that the, uh, the foragers would stay with the box. And the one, re the one problem I'm having with this uh, nuke here is that if I shake bees from, from this hive into that nuke, the forages will come out and they'll simply go back to this hive here. So I think my plan for today is to get some uh, nurse bees, a good bunch of nurse bees, shake them into that top box, close them up and take them down to Norman's and then let them loose down there because it's a, a good uh, oh two maybe three kilometers away 
and so any foragers that I shake in there and get integrated when they come out they will have to reorient to the to the nuke um, as you can see I've added another box on here this is now five high instead of four this top box it's nearly full of capped honey this box here was the third box up but instead of the queen being able to lay brood in it they started filling it there's so much nectar coming in right now that they filled this box completely with nectar so I uh, moved it up one and added a completely empty box in there hope, hoping that the queen will get up in there and lay before they fill it up and I think in a few days this will be ready to harvest and then I can put some empty frames in there other than that the New Zealand hive or hive 2 is just booming um, hive 3 over here they're doing pretty good too but they're nowhere near as uh, as busy as these girls here and you can see I've taken my entrance board out of here so I have my sliding entrance in there and uh, I had to take it out yesterday because even without wide open there wasn't enough room for the bees to get in and out they were there were thousands of bees just piled up on the front of this trying to get through that small opening so I've taken the entrance board right out give it free access to the hive so I'm going to get the big hive open here and I'm going to get the the two honey supers off the top and then I'm going to start looking for nurse bees so I'll be back in a bit Got the two honey supers off. That top box is heavy. And they're putting nectar in these frames too. Yeah, that's all nectar. And I hope they're not filling this box full of nectar as well. Gonna give the queen some place to lay because she's just a laying machine. can't see any eggs but you can see the uh, you see the round pattern here they're starting their their round pattern here so they must be getting this ready for her to to lay into you can't tell if there's eggs in there or not so let's check the next frame food more nectar man they're just bringing in so much nectar right now that's all nectar well that didn't work out the bees will do what they want that didn't work out exactly the way I had hoped so let's get that in there. nectar <clears throat> uh, 
that's all nectar. I don't know if the sun's gonna pick up that glossy. Okay, so what's going on on the bottom here? And that's just burr comb. Come on, move over. Try not to harm any bees in the making of this video. That's all nectar. And pollen. Let's see if the camera will pick some of that up, but there's a ton of pollen in those cells. <laughs> Come in. Now this is a brood frame. Mostly empty. I do see eggs in there. So yeah, there's fresh eggs all through that frame there. Just looking for a frame that I can shake into that nuke. That's all for you. There's a big drone there. That's all brood. That's all brood. I'm looking. Yeah, fresh eggs in those empty cells on this end. Camera's not going to pick them up, but. I do not see the queen, so that might be a good frame to. Queen cups, nothing in them. I want a really healthy frame of bees to go into that nuke, or maybe two. cells. Oh, there's a, they're building a super uh, swarm cell lair. I don't know if you can see it right there on the bottom. So they're running out of space in here. As I got. Yeah, that's wet. Shake that frame into there. Thank <laughs> you. 
see if there's any more queen cells. Yeah, they're getting into the swarm mode it's because there's no space for them to. It's all food. Okay, I want some more bees in that other box. This will help them get out of swarm mode as well. I did this last year and it seemed to work okay, so. take this box off and then I want to look at the uh, bottom of the other box just to see if there's any queen cells in here. So, got my uh, accomplished goals done for the day. So I'm just going to put this hive back together, and then I'm going to put a ratchet strap around the nuke, and I'll take it down to Normans. So, I will catch you in the next video. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. So please keep on watching. There's probably going to be more.
bye for now.